Let's take a closer look at the BOP ratings for the Le Mans 24 hour race 2024. Special about the BOP rating is the two step system. So there is a rating for each car for speeds below 250 km per hour and above 250 km per hour. That way the regulators want to have better control to equalize the car's performances. So very efficient cars like the Ferrari cannot have a top speed advantage anymore. So first of all, let's take a look at weight and power for below 250 km per hour. Here we can see that the Toyota is the heaviest car and has the second lowest power after the Alpine. The lightest car, again, is the Cadillac, but it had to reduce power by quite a bit after its good performance in Spa. So for slow speeds, the best rating by quite some margin has the Lamborghini. So the regulators really try to push the Lambo, which showed reliability but is lacking pace. More info on the not quite ideal design of the Lambo in my other video. Porsche, Isotta and Cadillac have a very similar good rating behind the Lambo. Then we have the midfield with Alpine, BMW and now Ferrari. So Ferrari got a much better rating for slow speeds compared to last races, but they are compromised for high speeds, which we will see in a minute. And the worst ratings have still Peugeot and Toyota. Toyota has a very good car, so is slowed down a lot, and the Peugeot in its new version is a new car and regulators are still careful. If we put the BOP ratings of Imola, Spa and Le Mans for low speeds in a diagram, it looks like this. This is kilogram per horsepower, so the lower you are, the better is your rating. We can see how Peugeot, Ferrari, Lambo, Porsche and Isotta got much better ratings. The LMDH cars of Cadillac, Alpine and BMW got worse ratings. And now it's getting very interesting if we look at the high speed ratings, because it's a very different order. We can see how Ferrari is punished a lot at high speeds, so regulators want to take their top speed advantage away. You can also have a top speed advantage if you are lacking downforce and hence have less drag. That seems to be the case for Lamborghini. Also they get slowed down a lot. And also Peugeot is limited more at higher speeds with their low drag design. All others are either equal like Porsche and Cadillac or get a better rating, so 0.9% more power at higher speeds. The result is that the Isotta has by far the best rating for high speeds, but because of their lack of downforce, they will suffer in corners. So while the Isotta can output more than 706 horsepower on the straights, the Ferrari can only have 679, so almost 30 horsepower less. So with the two-step BOP, regulators have a tool to support some cars in low speeds and others at high speeds. You could say that it helps to equalize performance of these very different cars on track, but you could also say that it's a tool to create more overtakes. If one car is faster at low speeds and another one very fast on the straights, you will see more battles on track. So what do you think about the new BOP system and its rating? Who do you think will win this race this year? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.